Nine, January and February may seem like the longest months of the year, I think it's safe to say, as we spend so much more time inside, bundled up doing anything we can to stay warm. That often makes us want to breathe new life into our homes and our living areas. Our Queen of Free, Sherry Lowe, is here this morning. Good morning to you. Morning. You're talking about some simple ideas that after we kind of get tired of seeing the same old thing in our house for so many months that we're stuck in there, you've got some simple ways to redecorate without spending too much money. Exactly. I think it's hard because we may want to paint, but we can't yeah. really have the windows open and we feel a little confined but there are plenty of ways to decorate on a dime or maybe even less than a dime if you don't <laughs> even have the dime uh, and I have those ideas on Queen of Free today and I'm also at the Indianapolis Home Show sharing those at 1 and 3 this afternoon too. And you brought along with you a couple of ideas here as well to help us really kind of you know do something like you said on the cheap and easy if we don't have too much time we're paying those holiday bills, yes. new year, new me, don't want right. to spend too much money so you've got some good ideas that like yeah. said, are very cost effective. So let's start with pillows. I think pillows are an excellent way to easily swap out and make a kind of great impression in your space. These pillowcases I bought on Amazon for less than five dollars. You can buy those inserts at IKEA pretty cheap as well. So you can add a pop of color, something fresh, something new, and you know really search for something you love. This is obviously a Harry Potter sort of you know theme, theme over here, which is on. kind of fun, <laughs> but an easy, simple way to make a difference in your space. And you're also talking about books and making the most of them. What do you mean by that? Well, I think for those of us that love books, we were really sad when Marie Kondo told us we could only have 30 in our house. <laughs> doesn't work for me, right. but I think it's great if you have a big stack of books, use them to decorate. You could even pile them high enough to be able to put a tray table on top, make a little end table, make a little coffee table for yourself if you don't have a lot of space, but you have a lot of books. We're always talking about spring clean, which comes out typically in spring. <laughs> January, February, that forecast we just saw, that ain't spring, but you're <laughs> saying still get ahead of the trip. Let's go ahead and kill the clutter. Mm -hmm. And all month long, I've been hosting a financial decluttering challenge on Facebook where I've been giving people an assignment every single day. We're wrapping that up this week. Okay. So join it for sure. But the best way to really breathe life into your space is getting rid of unnecessary stuff. Yeah, that really clears space as well and gets uh, some new room for some new ideas. Mm -hmm. And another one of those new ideas you're saying is using some photos and cards, which can be really inexpensive to print off. Uh, yeah, I think this is a great way to fill your space with the things that you love. So if you're sentimental, grab those cards that your grandma gave you or that picture that you love so much. Take Take some twine and hang them with clothespins. Doesn't cost anything at all. And on top of that, I've got lots of great free printables out on Queen of Free linked today that you could go print out, put in a frame you already have, or maybe even just use a clipboard and hang it on the wall, add a new accent piece that doesn't cost you any money at all. And that kind of goes with the sort of rustic kind of uh, farmhouse theme, I know, which is very common right now, it very is. popular out of the home show, which you will be there today. What are some of the things you'll be talking about out there? So I'm going to be talking more about how to decorate on a dime, but also so kind of emphasizing how you can communicate well with your spouse or your partner Ooh. about how to decorate. <laughs> that delicate and, conversation. Right, it's having a fixer-upper without having a breakdown, right? That mm -hmm. we can work together to accomplish home improvement projects without really ruining our relationship at the same time. Awesome. And what time will you be speaking today? At 1 and 3 p.m. at the Unilock Outdoor Stage. All right. You're going to find out much more information, including ticket prices for the home show and how you can save a couple of dollars during this final day at WTHR.com. As always, Sherry's money-saving tips can be found in her online blog, queenoffree.net. Is that yes, correct? Yes, that .net? is correct. All right. Some great ideas. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thanks, and of course,